Scenes like this show the anger young anti-government protesters have towards the Libyan regime. Benghazi, the rebel stronghold in the east of the country, has seen some of the fiercest clashes involving hundreds of youths. Adam and Tarek, members of a local rock band, were involved in those anti-government clashes. Just weeks later, they showed us around the scenes of the worst of the rioting. Here is what remains of Colonel Gaddafi's military compound, known locally as the Katiba. The Katiba was allegedly a center of imprisonment and torture for anti-government activists before the unrest began. Adam shows us some of the rebels' graffiti on the walls of this symbolic compound, the epitome of Gaddafi's power in Benghazi. We need uh, freedom, I said we need. This, this, this one, I did that. I, I wrote this my, by myself. The average age of Libyans is just over 24 years old, and with such youth comes much vigor. Adam and Tarek are no different. Fresh from fighting in the anti-government unrest, they retreat to this suburban Benghazi basement. Here they sing about their experiences in a group called al irhab wa Washi, or Terrorism of Brutality. Surrounded by trophies seized from the scenes of the clashes, the band play death metal, the only genre of music, they say, that comes close to expressing their anger and passion. I asked guitarist Tarek how the unrest in Benghazi has influenced their music. For the two band members, music is an outlet for the violence and bloodshed they've seen firsthand. Young people around the world have traditionally channeled their frustration through music. What makes Al Irhab Awashia different is that they're doing it amidst changing world history. Frizana Fiaz, CCTV, Benghazi, East Libya.